Hey guys, Dragoneth here again with another WoW video, and today we're in Old War. Um, a good friend of mine, he said he was getting a group together to down Flame Leviathan, which is the first boss, and he asked if I would like to come along, and I jumped right on it, because um, Old War, when I saw Hamza's video actually, his downing of Flame Leviathan, that's actually what got me back into WoW after a four month, um, break and and I've been wanting to get here ever since I, I, I started playing again and it was everything I hoped it would be um basically as you can see we're in these vehicles I got into a um right I'm not steering the um demolisher that I'm in on um a gunner on it and basically your objective is to destroy these bunkers here these tall towers they're called storm beacons and um, ads will spawn from them, and your objective is to destroy those first and foremost, and then clean up the ads. Um, but uh, reiterating, um, how's it been going into this a lot in his videos and talking about that feeling that you get when y you don't know what to expect, and you're in a new area, experiencing new content, and I just want to say that I share those same feelings because that's the reason I play I play World of Warcraft. It's not for the gameplay or anything. It's for the stories, really. I just love playing along and act, act, treating it as my character, making his way in it, through the world and his adventures and everything. And it's really entertaining, especially when you get to see something so fantastic, this beautiful artwork and all that stuff. And I just have to say that. But anyway, um, moving along, we're um, just cleaning up these mobs here. Um, I'm still working on next through my with my guild and stuff, and we're planning to get farther in as we get geared up. Um, but it's sometimes hard since we're, none of us are really geared for PVE and more PvP oriented, and so it. It's a slower process, but we're getting there. But, also, I will be having a lot more videos coming up. I'm working on s some st some stuff like, um, some a PvP video, actually, where I'm playing as a Shockadin. And, I actually, I love the Shockadin spec, too, and I'll go ramble on more about that later on. But, um, I'll, I'm also going to be doing a series, um coming up soon and I'm really hoping that it's going to be really good for you guys to follow along with it and I'll spoil the surprise for you guys here but I'm going to be going my guild is going to be helping me go for the um, legendary weapon you know the little orange lettered weaponries the legends that are like one of a kind essentially but um Thunder Fury um, Blessed Blade of the Wind Seeker and I'll post that right here um but anyway i'm going it's going to be a very very long process and it's going to require a lot of luck and patience from my guild but they all seem pretty willing to help me out so and it's just going to be a good bonding experience and just good footage hopefully for you guys to check out and follow along and hopefully it won't be as long and tedious of, as a pro of a process as it's been claimed to be so um look forward to that um also i am doing a a um poll slash petition type thing on the paladin forums where i actually uh, i used the war tools website and completely revamped the holy paladin um town tree and no i didn't make it overpowered or anything but I think it emphasizes more on actual healing because, as anybody know, paladins, they seem to be falling behind. They come up short in versatility. We, um, main problem is that Blizzard has given us this niche that we're supposed to be filling as single target healers, but keeping a straight single target can be, um, it it can be kind of burdensome at times because we're bound to cast bars unlike other casters and we just don't have that versatility and the tools to um, match um, various situations that we approach other than holy light flash of light and um, holy 
Boom Shock and the occasional Lay on Hands, but things get really tough. And it's just, it, it can be a pain and can make, um, it doesn't make it as entertaining as other healers have it. And no, I'm not really, really a priest or anything, because I still love the Paladin. I played my Paladin only for the stories again, reiterating that whole lore type thing, and that's what I want. And so I'm going to post that in the, um, in the description, and you guys can check that out, and give me some good feedback, and hopefully with enough people paying attention to it, Blizzard will take notice and, uh, address some of the things that, um, must be addressed, because, um, they did the the Q&A session for Paladins and, uh, this week, and as it meant, almost everybody in the Paladin forum said it was really a lot of fluff, and they were kind of dodging the issues that people were bringing up and saying a lot of, um, extra nonsense and stuff, but anyway, um, but digressing, as you've been seeing, we've been, this is the encounter with Flame Leviathan himself, he, um, he, uh, he um, follow, pursues various members throughout his, the encounter, and your objective is to use the motorcycles with their oil slick to slow him down, and just to run from him and kite him, essentially. And then, when he comes to you, um, throw in your speed boost, and um, get away. And my job as a gunner is to pick a pyrite, which powers my demolisher, so that we can use our speed boost to get away. And as you've seen, we've had a pretty nice time with him. We did this on hard mode, so um, that was nice too, because I got a free achievement there for my first time, and it was just—it was really fun. It was a really fun night, and I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll bring out a actual strategy um, guide for him, but I think it's been out long enough that. Most people already have gotten to experience that, but still, just for you guys, I'll show it. Um, I got, I did this like maybe two or three times so far, so, um, I know it pretty well, and plus I, I love watching the actual, um, raid videos on YouTube and stuff, so, that's, that's all good, but, anyway, uh, so, that, I'm gonna close up this video here, guys, and I will have a few more from, my other games, Pokemon and all that stuff, and every downtime right there. But um, um, keep on the lookout for that in the next few days. Actually, really, really frequently, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have some videos out for you guys. So check that out. Um, for loot on this guy, he dropped a purple helm, plate helm. That I did, I did. I was gonna roll on it for because of buying on the clip and I was gonna sell it. But some people said that they were actually gonna use it, so I passed it up for them. But other people who are playing on selling it on it too. Kind of annoyed me, but it's okay. Um, but anyway, there's this corpse, and until next time, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.